Welcome to the Workday Reporting for Business Users video series. In this video, we'll explore how to use worksheets. Workday Worksheets provides a powerful and flexible environment for data analysis and reporting directly within Workday. This video will guide you through the essential features and functionalities. Worksheets is a cloud-based spreadsheet technology built within Workday that enables ad hoc data exploration, analysis, visualization, and collaboration with live transactional data. But what makes Worksheets unique from other spreadsheet software? First, it connects directly to your Workday data, so your worksheets are always up to date without manual imports. Second, it provides built-in Workday functions, making complex calculations and analyses much easier than a traditional spreadsheet. Finally, Worksheets leverages the Workday Security Framework, ensuring that your data remains secure and access is controlled according to your organization's policies. Let's explore how to access worksheets and create a workbook. From the home page, navigate to your profile menu and select Drive. Drive is your central hub for managing all worksheet documents. To create a new worksheet, you have three options. Option one, create a new blank workbook. To create a new blank workbook in Drive, select the Add New button and select Workbook. Enter a name for your workbook, then select Create. Option two, upload an external file like an Excel sheet. In Drive, select Add New, then select Upload. Select the file to import it to Drive. Workday will create a workbook version of the file. Finally, option three, export a workbook from a Workday report. First, access and run the report. From the report output, select the Export to Worksheets icon. Workday then creates a new workbook with the report data, which is now accessible from your drive. Note that this is just a snapshot of the data at the report runtime. Now, let's explore one of the most powerful functionalities of Worksheets, the ability to import data from Workday reports. Worksheets has a built-in wizard to guide you through the data import process. In the workbook, select Add Live Data. Choose the source report. Select the columns you want to include. and import your data. You can choose between inserting live data or static values. If you import your data as live data, the workbook stays in sync with the source report data. It's a one-way connection from the report to the worksheet. You can't manually edit live data cells in worksheets. If you import your data as static values, the data isn't synced to the source report. Rather, the data is a snapshot of the source report data at the time that you insert it. You can edit static data cells in a workbook. Now let's discuss sharing and permissions. Workday enables workbook owners to share workbooks and set permissions within the Workday security framework. You can share workbooks with colleagues and control their access levels. Options include can view, can comment, and can edit. You can even share a direct link to the workbook for broader access. Just toggle on the link sharing option and set permissions for those who have link access. There are also advanced share settings for who can copy, download and print, or share the workbook. The owner retains ultimate control and can modify these permissions as the project evolves and responsibilities shift. This system of sharing and permissions ensures that the right people have the right level of access at the right time. Now that you know how to share and set permission for your workbooks, let's discuss the built-in tools of worksheets that facilitate collaboration. With comments, you can discuss data, trends, and action items directly in the workbook. Just select the comment icon to open the comments panel. You can tag colleagues using the at symbol to notify them of your comments. You can also reference a specific cell or cell range in a comment 
providing context and clarity for your collaborators. To do this, select the cell or cell range, then right-click, select Insert Comment, and enter your comment. Workday then creates a View Reference link, which takes the user to the reference cell or cell range in the workbook. Finally, let's discuss Worksheets functions. Worksheets provides access to Workday-specific functions and calculations. This allows you to perform complex analyses tailored to your Workday data. For example, you can use built-in functions to calculate tenure, performance ratings, or compensation changes all within the workbook. Not sure which formula to use? The Gen AI Formula Writer will create formulas for you based on a description of what you want to achieve. The Formula Explainer gives you a clear explanation of how formulas work, making it easy to understand and share your analysis. Let's explore how these features work in a tenant. Meet Logan McNeil. Logan has a workbook that analyzes compensation details. Logan has some questions to answer, but she isn't sure which formula to use. As Logan, Patrick will demonstrate how to use the Formula Writer and Formula Explainer. In this demonstration, we'll use the Formula Writer to write a function for our workbook. Then we'll use the Formula Explanation feature to learn more about the function that Workday generated. We're using a workbook to analyze employee compensation, using the Compensation Details Report as a data source. We need to answer the following question. What is the average of the salaried increase percent column of employees with the compensation grade of management? If you're not sure how to write a formula to derive this value, you can use the worksheet's formula writer. To access the formula writer, you can go to the view menu and select formula writer. Right click on a cell and select formula writer. or select the Formula Writer icon. When the Formula Writer panel appears, insert the formula description using the most detail possible. Then select Generate. Workday generates a formula that you can insert into a cell. When you insert the formula, a result appears in the selected cell. 2% is the average salary increase percentage of employees with the management compensation grade. Below the result, you can view how the generative AI model came up with this result. It shows which functions were used and how they all work together to get the result. Let's say you share this workbook with others and they want an explanation of the formula used. They could right-click on the cell and select Explain Formula to get that information. Workday provides extensive resources to help you deepen your understanding of worksheets functions. Need help writing formulas? Use the Functions Library accessed through the Function icon or Insert menu for quick access to functions and syntax. For detailed information and examples, check out the User Guide and Function Reference in the Help menu. In this session, we've covered the essentials of Workday worksheets, from accessing and creating workbooks, to importing data, sharing, collaborating, and leveraging powerful functions. All of this is designed to empower you to unlock the full potential of your Workday data. Thank you for taking the time to learn with Workday.